A powerful champion unlike any the Pokemon world has ever seen. A legend and a mentor in the canon of the anime. And a woman who is about to leave her legacy behind. Let's talk about the end of Cynthia and the end of an era. Hey everyone, it's Charles. How are you today? It has been a hot summer packed with hot battles in the Pokemon anime, but no battle has stoked the fandom's fires quite like the looming clash between Ash Ketchum and Cynthia Cynthia. Cynthia is widely recognized among players of the Pokemon games as the most formidable champion in existence, and since her debut in the anime back in 2006, she has played key roles in not just one, but three separate anime series. And at last, a battle that was first foreshadowed a decade and a half ago is at long last just about under way. Today we have a bundle of tasty Ash vs Cynthia information on the table, as well as a breakdown of what the show's latest big revelation, The End of Cynthia, means for the anime. And as always, it's going to be a good time, so kindly request your Machoke to cross chop that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and let's bust out the juicy nuggets. At the end of Pokemon Journeys episode 121, we were treated to not just one, the usual post-credits preview trailer for the following episode, but also two, an additional special preview trailer zeroing in on the Ash vs. Cynthia clash and revealing some of its juiciest nuggets. Of course, before Ash vs. Cynthia even begins, we will see the Kalos champion Diantha take on the reigning World Coronation Series monarch Leon in the first match of the semifinals. That battle was briefly showcased in episode 121's episode and ending preview trailer, but it is expected to be a quickie of the not-so-fun kind. And the main draw of the episode is actually an encounter that will occur between Ash and Cynthia when they bump into one another training outside the stadium. According to Japanese TV guides, we will finally be treated to the story of how Cynthia met her Garchomp as a gibble in her younger years. Not to mention that the popular Japanese anime magazine Animedia is even packing in a childhood Cynthia poster into their September 2022 issue. So expect an Ash vs Cynthia appetizer seasoned with a sprinkle of of the cutes and a pinch of the feels. And it needs not be said, but the cut of Cynthia in her street clothes, charming as always. Following episode 112's healthy serving of Cynthia backstory and less healthy serving of Diantha buttwomping, the main event will kick off with Ash vs Cynthia stretching from at least the beginning of episode 123 through to the conclusion of episode 125. But before we break down the delicious contents of Cynthia vs Ash revealed in the special preview trailer, let's frame the discussion with some light information and commentary regarding the episode's titles. Coming in hot, we have episode 122, titled Semi-Final 1 Overwhelming Victory, in which Diantha will get cratered and Cynthia will get hit with the Shrink Ray. After that, it's time for episode 123, titled Semi-Final 2, Dazzle. A title suggesting that Cynthia's spirit tomb will be putting Ash on his back foot. Next up, we have episode 124, titled Semi-Final 3, Valor, which sounds to me like a reference to the gallant Sir Fetched putting up a valiant fight that would make even Sir Wickstrom proud. And lastly, we have episode 125, titled Semi-Final 4, Battle, wherein all the stops will be pulled out as the aces start swinging and Ash vs Cynthia goes down to the wire. Of course, it is possible that the episode could begin at the end of episode 122 and even stretch past episode 125, but this appears to be the scope of the match based on existing information. And with that said, here is a basket full of juicy Ash vs Cynthia details, courtesy of the special preview trailer. Firstly, let's address the elephant in the room, the retirement of Cynthia. Or rather, the end of Cynthia's reign as a champion and as a pillar of the competitive Pokemon scene in the anime. The words that shook the world were the first to drop in the trailer as Cynthia walked the dressing room to Pitch Tunnel, bumped into Diantha, rest in peace Diantha, and told her the following. After this tournament, I'll be retiring from battling. What? 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 Retiring? Given how Cynthia's character has been constructed over the course of the anime, this came as a big shock with big implications. And we will circle back to this big reveal momentarily, but beforehand, here's a quick breakdown of what exactly the special preview trailer showed of the 6v6 full battle itself. On the match card, we have Ash bringing out the Full Journeys roster of Pikachu, Gengar, Dragonite, Surfetched, Mr. Fish, and of course, Lucario. And we have Cynthia fielding Spiritomb, Roserade, Togekiss, Gastrodon, Milotic, and Garchomp. 
As you can see, Cynthia's squad is a fairly straightforward adaptation of her Diamond and Pearl team, with Togekiss brought in from Platinum so that we do not double down on the blue Batman Jackals. P.S. I wonder what happened to her Kamo O. P.P.S. Glaceon, you deserved better. As for Ash, I am sure that many fans would have liked to see his Infernape come back for this particular battle on account of all the great foreshadowing that took place in the Diamond and Pearl saga, but c'est la vie. Any hoot hoots, based on the episode titles and the battle snippets contained in the special preview trailer, it looks like the battle will loosely unfold like this. Cynthia's spear tomb will open up the match, making Dragonite and Gengar look silly to immediately put Ash on his back foot, and this is a much appreciated nod to how much of a pain Cynthia's spear tomb is to deal with in the games. And I hate to be the bearer of bud news, but next up we see Roserade Yamcha Mr. Fish with a shot straight to the tum tum, and Togekiss proceed to lay out. Pikachu. The special preview trailer then shows us a scoreboard shot, whereupon we see that at some point before Ash reveals his fourth Pokemon, Cynthia is down Gastrodon and Spiritomb, Roserade and Togekiss have seen action but are alive and well, and Milotic and Garchomp have yet to hit the pitch. Whereas Ash is down Dragonite, Gengar, and Pikachu, with the rest of the boys waiting in reserve. Given that the next shot shows Lucario unleashing the fires of hell upon Togekiss, I'll assume that Dragonite and Gengar went down to Spiritomb and that Pikachu did not get up from that cute but devastating Toga tackle that we saw earlier in the trailer. We also see Dragon Rush making contact with Roserade, and whether this shot occurs before the cringe-worthy gut blow to Mr. Fish, or after someone threw him a Sensu Bean to bring him back from the dead, again, is unclear. But as the world's number one Mr. Fish fan, I do hope that we see our hilarious fossil friend steal a W. Either way, Roserade is going to be quite the thorn in Ash's side, but another Pokemon that could get him into hot water is Cynthia's Milotic, and I expect that Milotic vs. Surfetch will be the key story beat of Semi-Final 3, Valor. Lastly, we have Cynthia's Garchomp. And I don't know if you can call this a spoiler since it is contained within the special preview trailer itself, but if you do not want to hear which two Pokemon will be going at it in the final clash, cover your eyes and ears, and make loud animal noises for the next 20 seconds. Ready? 3, 2, 1. In the trailer, a glimpse of the scoreboard behind Cynthia's Garchomp reveals that the final confrontation of the match will be taking place between Cynthia's Garchomp and Ash's Lucario. And as much as I wonder why the Pokemon anime is so insistent on spoiling the progression of its Masters 8 battles in its own trailers, I am very hyped to see Mega Garchomp and Mega Lucario have at it. Match specifics aside, what's clear is that the Journeys team is giving Ash vs. Cynthia the screen time it deserves, with at least three episodes on the docket, and I think this will please viewers who have felt that the Masters 8 tournament thus far has come off as a bit rushed when measured against expectations of what you would expect to see in a tournament that is finally gathering together the strongest trainers from across the world. Personally, I would be as furious as a furret if we were given anything less for a match that has so much weight behind it. Perhaps more so than any other battle in Ash's career. Given that Cynthia has long been established as the de facto top trainer in the anime, despite what the writers are trying to tell us this season, given Cynthia's prominence as a mentor to Ash and his friends, and given that this battle was first foreshadowed way back in the 2000s, only to be teased time and time again without coming to fruition. Until now. It is going to be huge, and this brings us back to the key point of our discussion, Cynthia's retirement. Cynthia retiring from the battle scene could best be described as the end of an era. As ever since her debut, she has been positioned at the summit of the anime's competitive landscape as an undefeated champion with an all-powerful ace who we have hardly even seen sustain damage over the past 16 years of battles and heroism. But she seems to feel that it is finally time to make way for the next generation, and given that the Masters 8 tournament has been all about rewriting the anime's power scale, this would be the perfect time to do it. The big question remaining is how exactly Cynthia will exit the building, and there are three doors that she could potentially walk through. Door number one, Cynthia beats Ash and beats Leon. Door number two, Cynthia beats Ash but loses to Leon. Or 
Door number three, Cynthia loses to Ash. In short, walking through door one would be an epic swan song for the bad babe of a generation. But to be honest, track number three seems the most likely considering how much Ash versus Leon has been built up over the course of Pokemon journeys. And seeing that following the conclusion of semi-final four on September 16th, we will still have as many as eight episodes left before the conclusion of the series, leaving ample room for an interlude, a two episode conclusion to Go's Project Muark, leading into a three to four episode Ash vs. Leon finale, and a wrap-up episode or two to boot. If Ash vs. Leon doesn't happen, then the Pokemon Journeys party is basically over and I am curious how they would fill up the remaining slots. Accordingly, one has to think that Cynthia will take the L. And although it may be sad to see the Gandalf of Pokemon fall, it will also be incredible to see the door opened to the next generation, not to mention the rise of Ash Ketchum. From Leon coming out the gates to turn the rival Ash could never beat into little more than a punching bag, to the underdog himself defeating the third strongest trainer in the world, Stephen Stone. The Masters 8 tournament has upended the tea table, but the announcement of Cynthia's retirement somehow hits harder than anything else we have seen in the tournament thus far. That is to say that it feels like something big is about to end, and that something big is about to begin. Or at least, that's what I think, but how about you?